Hey, just a quick video just to um, illustrate uh, an update that we've just put live um, around the, the map feature. So if I just um, select the map, which um, I've just added that element to this um, image here and choose map settings, what we can see is a couple of new options. The first here is we've got map type. So at the moment we've selected terrain, um, but we could go to a road map or we've got satellite and we've got hybrid where you've got satellite with, um, with layers on top. In addition to that, um, we've also got the zoom level. So, you know, we can go right the way down to a kind of a street level um, sort of map all the way through to a kind of uh, a kind of top level country level um, view. And so that kind of really gives us a bit more flexibility in terms of the maps that you want to show. In addition to that, we also have this function here, use current location. So present or the way the maps previously worked and still continue to work is that you can supply uh, an email will enrich that and get uh, a user's location from the business that you provide whereas here just from the, the IP, uh, IP address and therefore location of the person viewing the image we're able to show the map specific to them rather than um, from the specific data you're providing to the image it obviously gives a bit more flexibility for example personalizing map um, based images or an image that you know contains some sort of map element um, to anonymous website visitors just by enabling the use uh, current location so that's the current location of the person viewing the image so that allows you to have dynamic images that are enriched on the fly to the person viewing the image maybe say on, on a website as well as or in an email so it just broadens out the use cases of how we can use the the map widget so i hope that's um given you a, an overview of this uh, improved function we look at that in practice let's um just select the map um maybe i'm going to go for the road map and just save that and we'll preview the image Going to copy the image URL, go jump over to a little proxy server. So here's my image URL that we've just created. <clears throat> and we choose New York. And let's just view that image. Here we can see that the map now is at New York at that um, kind of city sort of level. Again, let's just uh, paste it in one more time. Let's choose see if we can get Seattle. Bam. And there we see we've got um, the map with Seattle and, and quite quick as well. And obviously, this image doesn't have any other personalization. Yes, yeah, so obviously, we're seeing just a rather than a logo or a business name, etc. But we'll still be able to, without any parameters passed to the image other than just the pure image URL, we're able to still personalize it dynamically just using the user's IP. I hope that's been a good uh, demonstration of that uh, in practice and look forward to seeing you in the next video.